In this video, we look at structure diagrams. First of all, let's start off a little recap of decomposition. This means breaking a complex problem down into its smaller, more manageable parts. Dealing with many different stages of a problem at once is more difficult than breaking it down into a number of smaller problems and solving those one at a time. We can use structure diagrams to help us decompose a problem. We create structure diagrams using an approach known as stepwise refinement. So at the top level here, we have the name of the overall program. After some initial analysis, we can break the program down into the main tasks it needs to perform. So our program here is going to be a company wage program. So we're breaking it down into three main areas. Input the employee's details, calculate their pay and produce pay slips. These will all go in the next level of the structure diagram. Some of the level one modules may not need breaking down any further, whereas some others may still be quite complex and need breaking down further. Calculate pay, for example, could be broken down into gross pay and gross deductions. These would go into the next level of the structure diagram. We carry on this process, breaking down any stages that are still too complex into smaller, more manageable chunks. Calculate deductions, for example, could be broken down into income tax, national insurance, non-paid sick days and pension contributions. These would go in the next level down on the structure diagram. Different sections of the program will be broken down to different degrees, depending on how complex they are. However, the end result should be the same, that each node at the lowest level achieves one task and can then be coded as a single module or subprogram. That's everything you need to know for structured diagrams. Pause the video and take some notes.